If you're still typing write me a blog post into ChatGPT and wondering why the results are trash, this 10 minute video will completely transform how you use AI. In these 10 minutes, you'll learn the best prompting frameworks, how experts use advanced prompts, and some of the most common mistakes 99% of people make when prompting which you need to avoid. This works across every AI tool, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, you name it. Hey there, this is Anik's AI clone. While the real Anik is out there running multiple businesses, scaling companies, and working with clients, I'm here to share his knowledge. Listen, here's a stat that'll blow your mind. Most people use less than nine words in their prompts. That's insane. No wonder the outputs are terrible. And you know what's even crazier? 99% of people are using AI completely wrong and they don't even know it. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to prompt any AI like a pro and get ahead of those who don't know this basic skill set in today's world of AI. First, the TCREI prompting framework. All right, I'm gonna teach you the TCREI framework. TCREI stands for task, context, references, evaluate, iterate. This is your complete system for getting incredible results from any AI's task. Tell it exactly what you want. Look, most people are way too vague. You need to be crystal clear about what you want the AI to do. Include a persona, act as a marketing expert, specify the format, create a table, write in bullet points. Let me show you with a short form video script example. Here's what most people do. Write a video script. Here's what you should do. Act as a viral content creator specializing in business tips. Write a 60 second TikTok script about productivity hacks for entrepreneurs. Structure it with a hook in the first three seconds, three main tips, and a strong call to action. Use casual, energetic language that speaks to 25 to 35 year old business owners. I'm telling you right now, the difference is night and day. The first gives you generic, boring crap. The second gives you an engaging, platform-specific script that actually works. Context, give it the background. Context is everything, and this is where most people screw up. You need to provide background information that matters, target audience details, and any constraints. So let's add context to our video script. The video will be posted during Monday morning commute hours. Target audience struggles with time management and often feels overwhelmed. They prefer actionable tips over theory. Keep language conversational like you're talking to a friend over coffee. Watch what happens. Instead of generic tips, you get specific, relatable, time-sensitive content that actually connects with your audience. References, show it, examples. Here's where it gets really powerful. Give it two to five examples. This is called few shot prompting. Show it the style, tone, or format you want. Add this to our prompt. Here are two examples of the tone and style I want. Example one, okay entrepreneurs, real talk. Your to-do list is killing your productivity. Here's what actually works. Example two, stop me if this sounds familiar. You wake up motivated, check your phone, and suddenly it's 2 p.m. and you've done nothing important. Match this conversational, relatable tone. The transformation is incredible. You go from a formal, boring script to engaging, personality-driven content that sounds like you. Evaluate and iterate. Here's what separates the pros from the amateurs. You don't take the first result and run. You iterate. Here are four ways to make it better. Go back to the framework. Did you miss something? In task, context, or references, break long prompts into shorter sentences. Try different phrasing. Write this like you're explaining to your best friend. Add more constraints. Only use words a 12-year-old would understand. Remember this, A, B, I, always be iterating. The first output is never the best output. Let's move on to the next part, advanced techniques that actually work. First, let's talk about prompt chaining, which basically is layering your prompts. Here's what this means. Instead of one giant prompt that confuses the AI, layer small prompts. For example, here's how I create Instagram Reel scripts. Don't do this. Create an Instagram Reel script about morning routines. Do this chain, prompt one. What are the top three morning routine mistakes busy professionals make, prompt two. Based on those mistakes, what's the biggest emotional pain point for someone who struggles with morning? Prompt three, create a hook for an Instagram reel that addresses that pain point in the first three seconds. Prompt four, now write the body of the reel with three quick solutions, each taking 10 to 15 seconds to explain. 
prompt five. End with a call to action that encourages, saves, and shares. Each step builds on the last and you end up with a highly targeted, engaging script instead of generic content. Second is meta prompting, let AI fix your prompts. This is honestly one of my favorite tricks. Use AI to make your prompts better. Start with write a YouTube script about productivity. Then ask, analyze this prompt and suggest five specific improvements to make it more effective. Write a YouTube script about productivity. The AI will tell you to add target audience, specify length, include persona, add format requirements, specify tone. Your improved prompt becomes, act as a productivity coach for entrepreneurs, write a 10 minute YouTube script about morning routines that increase focus, target busy business owners age 25 to 40, structure, hook, 30 seconds, three main tips, three minutes each, recap, one minute. Use conversational tone with personal anecdotes. Next is chain of thought prompting, make it show its work. Here's what that means. Ask the AI to show its reasoning by adding, explain your thought process step by step. Instead of write a hook for a fitness video, try write a hook for a fitness video. First, explain your thought process. What makes a fitness hook compelling? What emotions should it trigger? What objections should it address? Then write three hook options with your reasoning for each. You get strategic psychology-based hooks with clear reasoning instead of random generic ones. Okay, let's move to the next part, the common mistakes that kill your results. Listen, I see people making these same mistakes over and over. Here's how to fix them. Mistake one, being too vague. What most people do, create a video script, why it sucks. AI doesn't know platform length, audience, or purpose. What you should do instead, create a 90 second YouTube short script for busy parents about meal prep hacks. Start with a relatable problem hook, show three quick solutions, end with encouragement to try one tip this week. The difference is massive. You go from generic garbage to a highly specific actionable script. Mistake two, information overload. I see people write prompts like this, act as a social media expert with 10 years of experience in helping small businesses grow their Instagram following through engaging content that converts followers into customers by creating compelling video scripts that hook viewers in the first three seconds while providing value and ending with strong calls to action that drive engagement and sales. Ah, stop. You're confusing the AI. That's not how you're supposed to prompt. Break it into clear sentences. Act as a social media expert for small businesses. Create an Instagram real script that converts followers to customers. Hook viewers in three seconds, provide value, end with strong CTA. Target local service businesses like salons, gyms, and restaurants. Mistake three, no examples. Saying right in an engaging tone means nothing. Engaging to who, how? Instead, give examples, write in an engaging tone like these examples. Okay, I'm about to blow your mind with this simple trick. You know that feeling when you're scrolling at 2 a.m. and find exactly what you needed? Match this conversational, slightly excited energy. Mistake four, taking the first result. Most people take the first result and leave. That's amateur hour. Always iterate, take your video script through multiple versions. First output, generic script. Second iteration, make the hook more controversial and the tips more specific. Third iteration, add a personal story element and make the CTA more urgent. Final result, highly engaging, specific, actionable script. Section four, quick technical tips that actually matter. All right, here's some technical stuff that'll help you get better results. If you're using Claude or other advanced tools, you can sometimes adjust creativity settings. Higher settings give you more creative, unpredictable outputs. Lower settings give you more consistent, reliable results. Keep your prompts under the token limit. ChatGPT can handle about 4,000 words of context. If you hit that limit, break your prompt into smaller pieces. When you want specific formatting, be explicit. Don't say make it look good. Say format as bullet points with bold headers or create a numbered list with examples under each point. And here's a pro tip. If you're getting cutoff responses, ask it to continue or finish the previous response. Like works every time. And there you have it. In just 10 minutes, you've mastered the complete system for prompt engineering. You now have the TCREI framework. Remember, tiny crabs rule every island. Advanced techniques like prompt chaining and you know exactly how to avoid the mistakes that keep 99% of people stuck with terrible results. And here's your homework. Pick one prompt you use regularly and apply the TCREI framework right now. 
Start with just task and context, then add the other elements. I guarantee your results will be 10 times better. If this 10 minute guide saved you hours of trial and error, smash that subscribe button and drop a comment with your before and after results. I read every single one. Remember, the difference between AI beginners and pros isn't talent, it's having the right system. You now have that system. Go use it. When life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back.